see when I'm mad You still love me and you want to help When you look at me I want you to see L-O-V-E love for my friends and family No matter what I see God sees the inside of me The Lord is looking at my heart No matter what I see God sees the inside of me The Lord is looking at my heart sad you see when I'm mad you still love me and you want to help when you look at me I want you to see L-O-V-E love for my friends and family no matter what I see God sees the inside of me The Lord is looking at my heart No matter what I see God sees the inside of me The Lord is looking at my heart Konnichiwa or hello! Before we begin our training, you need to know the two rules of being a ninja. Let me see all of you hold up one finger. The number one rule of being a ninja is to be kind. We can be kind by listening. If you can be kind by listening, let me see you click on your listening ears like this. Click, click. Ninjas also show kindness by staying very quiet. Now for rule number two. Let me see everyone hold up two fingers. Rule number two is to be safe. Ninjas can be safe by not trying any ninja moves on their friends. We can remember this by saying this, block and chop and now we stop. I wanna see all of you do that after me. Block and chop and now we stop. You look ready now. The key to becoming an excellent ninja is learning how to stop doing wrong things and start doing what God says is right. We do that by looking in God's book, the Bible. My smart sidekick, Tiny Tiger, wants to share some wise words from the Bible that will help you in your training. Konnichiwa. I have a tigerific story to tell you that's sure to make you roar. One day a man was walking down the road on a long trip. Along the way, he was attacked by some very mean people. They stole his clothes and beat him up and left him badly hurt on the side of the road. The man needed someone to help him. The first person to come along and see the hurt man was a church worker. But when the church worker saw the hurt man lying there, he crossed to the other side of the road and kept on walking. He did not stop to help the hurt man. Soon, another church worker came by. When he saw the hurt man, he crossed to the other side of the road and kept on walking too. Then, a third person came along. He was from another town. He was called a Samaritan. When the Samaritan saw the hurt man, he felt sorry for him. He stopped to help the hurt man. He gave him some band-aids to help him feel better. Then he put the hurt man on his donkey and took him to an inn, like a hotel, where he took care of him. Jesus tells us that we should be like the Samaritan man in the story. We should show love to others, even if they're mean to us or hurt us. We can show love to others by helping, using kind words, and even by smiling. Sensei Sam and I know that this story will help you in your training. Keep up the good work. Sayonara.
Things that I do 